Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's Daily Love Tarot Reading. Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Love hearing from you guys as well. All of those things do help my channel as well, so I appreciate it. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Bringer of change. So big change coming. Someone is bringing change into your life or you're bringing change into someone else's life, right? Um, yeah, these are general readings. So I'm going to probably say you most of the way through, but just take them and apply them to your situation. So if you feel it's someone around you's energy, just apply it that way. Um, and always only take what fits with your, you know, what resonates with you, okay? If it doesn't resonate, just leave it behind. It could be for someone else. Ooh, new path. Some sort of a decision after awakening. Decision after awakening. So someone's awoken to something. Helping them to make some sort of a decision in their life for a new path. Okay, let's see. What else? And it's going to be a big change, whatever this is, from this bringer of change. Ooh, lovers, beautiful. Okay, so this is about someone that you deeply love or that deeply loves you. Nine of Swords. So there was some anxiety here. Uh, someone's having sleepless nights. Could be having sleep disturbances. Yeah. Some, some sort of sleep disturbance coming through as well. So maybe waking up at odd hours. Things like that. I feel like it's uh, something about dreams too. Having dreams. Not nightmares, but having dreams coming through. Eight of Wands. Ooh, rapid communication. Back and forth communication coming. So someone could be com communicating some sort of a decision they're making in their life, okay? Um, to their lover, okay? After a period of anxiety here and sleepless nights. So someone might have been mm, mulling over something. And then suddenly they have this realization. Yeah, okay. Let's see with the clarifiers judgment why judgment for the general collective in love why the judgment card yep eight of swords someone's breaking free of something stopping the pattern of self-limiting beliefs overthinking breaking free so there's a few different messages coming through so someone could have been suffering with self-limiting beliefs, uh, anxiety, overthinking, because that came through as well. This is kind of like a mental prison, so that makes sense, right? Um, kind of keeping yourself stuck due to your thoughts. Um, and someone breaking free of those binds, right? Breaking free. It could be breaking free from that or from something else is what I'm getting there. Lovers, let's see what this is about. Whoa, Ace of Pentacles flew out really fancy over here ace of pentacles so this is a b big offer um in the physical world right so something and this is a big seed so <laughs> um something that's been planted and now it's grown nine of swords okay yeah that's exactly what it is okay so something that's been planted and now has grown Someone had something that had to end in their life, okay, and in order to allow for this rebirth, it was giving them anxiety, but now they've had some sort of realization to break free, and now they're able to come toward a lover with a, a new offer here, a new offer of love, since that's coming out on the lovers, and I feel like that's an offer of love in the physical world here, not just, you know, words. I feel like this is a physical offer. Communication. Lots of back and forth communication about this could be communicating this decision or this could be the offer as well. Let's see with the tarot eight of wands, but that's what I'm getting there. Eight of wands, please. Why the eight of wands? King of cups. Yep. Someone who loves you very much. So they want to, someone is going to communicate how deeply they love you. 
Yeah, for some of you, I feel like someone here was connected to someone else. They were having anxiety about some, bringing something to an end, okay? Um, they've had some sort of realization that's kind of opening up the new path. Now they're uh, open-hearted, really open and receptive as well, but also very emotional and open to um, come forward with some sort of communication about this new offer, some offer of love. So an offer of love coming is what I'm feeling here. Mm, okay, let's see. Play. Yeah, I'm wanting to be playful about it. So let's not be so serious, I just heard. <laughs> okay, let's not be so serious. So someone here could be kind of being extremely uh, serious about the situation. This person kind of just wanting to um, take it lightly, you know, just kind of go with the flow. Have fun with it. Yeah. Enjoy each other. Wow. There's a lot coming through. And this could be, again, you or this person that's coming toward you here. Or you coming toward someone else. Whatever. It could be either way. But definitely someone wanting to kind of lighten the mood, so to speak. Oh, look at this. Wow. Yeah. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Yeah, look at all that light shining in, right? Very healing. This person loves you very much. Mm, with the lover's card. I mean, that's a deep soul love. That's beautiful love there. That's about being in harmony with one another as well. So that is beautiful. Let's see what else for the general collective. That one came out so quick. Go deeper. So they're really wanting to have deep talk. Okay. So I do feel that this is about expression of feelings. This is about, you know, plans for the future. Things like that. Really things that will affect both of your lives. What else? Two. Two. Delight and abundance. Yeah. So you make them very happy. Or you're going to be very happy or both, right? <laughs> abundance. Yeah. There's a lot to go around. A lot of love here to go around. I feel between you. Yeah. This is a back and forth. This is a very balanced type of love I'm feeling. Mm. And this big change is definitely coming after a period of, you know, some sort of anxiety about something that was ending, you know. So now it's going to feel light, happy, plenty to go around. So someone feeling very loved by you as well. Let's get more. For the general collective in love, please. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So someone feels like you're part of their life path. Is what I'm getting here. Part of their purpose here on earth. Powerful. This could be a, a, a soulmate or a twin flame. Uh, I'm feeling more twin flame energy here. Um, this person feeling like you are uh, where they belong. You know, this is part of their life path. Something to do with their purpose, fulfilling your purpose. So just loving each other and shining your light to, to the world here could be what that's about. Let's see. What else for the general collective in love? Mm, yeah, Treasure Island. They feel very special. Someone feels very special and treasured by you. Hmm, very nice. So you make them feel really good, delightful, you know, happy, joyous. Very nice. That's probably why they love you so deeply. Let's see what else for the general collective in love. Feelings, yeah, definitely was feeling that here. Feelings are going to be coming out and with Go Deeper. I definitely feel like there'll be a lot of expression of feelings going on today with this person between you back and forth okay let's see what else for the general collective in love oh there it is heart chakra nice okay yeah so you're both very open-hearted you've broken each other open 
Mm, your love is like no other. Wow. So this person, I feel, or, or you, I mean, it could be vice versa. Always remember that. Um, someone here feeling very um, broken open and like they've never experienced something like your love in, ever, like ever. <laughs> okay. Um, this is special, unique. Yeah, that's really shining out. Wow. Yeah, so I feel like this King of Cups here is really, um, again, there's a lot of expression coming there with that Eight of Wands. Deep feelings, very deep feelings, yeah. Let's see what else for the general collective in love. What else, please, for the general collective in love for today? Wow. Yeah, this is a coming back together. I definitely feel like for some of you, it is, you know, a twin flame, a soulmate type reunion, the communion of tender souls. I absolutely love this card. This is about deep, powerful, unconditional love. Um, and the coming together of the two physical bodies, right? The, and the souls more than the bodies even, but the, the bodies bringing the souls together. Okay, um, because the body is the vessel to the soul, right? So, yeah, wow, this is beautiful. I really like today's energy. This is really nice. Um, and again, could have been after a period of a little bit of um, maybe even stagnancy here. If this was uh, an ongoing long type of situation where this person or you were stuck in negativity, um, anxiety, overthinking, um, over something ending, you know, things have to death and rebirth, you know, everybody looks at it like, Oh, no, but no, I mean, life is about change. Okay. And without death and rebirth, we don't grow and evolve, right? Things have to end in order for new things to begin. So it's it's just the cycle of life, right? We have to um, let things go from the past to move to a future. That's, you know, better for us, right? Ooh, taking action. Yeah. Definitely someone taking action towards someone else today. Yes, for sure. There's a big change coming. Some sort of an offer. Lots of feelings coming out. Very good day, guys. I really hope that this was helpful for you. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.